Welcome back with us, folks. Tonight we are looking at various plays we took this week. We, we will try to explain why we took them, how we were looking at them before they happened, the reasons why we picked a specific strike, and basically um, reviewing exactly what happened for them, just so you can see what we look for and if you can apply this to later plays. So this is SLB. SLB is part of the energy sector, which is currently on fire. Look at this one here. It pretty much looked, this is the one hour chart, and I'm looking at last week before the beginning of the week. Last week was great. However, it looked like it could go like um, a inverted, sorry, not inverted, but it looked like a, a possible head and shoulder. This being the left shoulder, this could be the head. Uh, it could have gone to a right shoulder after that but i was interested in the fact that we could have gone a little higher on this because like i said energy sector is on fire so let's move towards um my why i draw uh, i'm drawing this yellow line here um it's pretty much here at the top of this level and i'll show you exactly what i mean by this this is exactly what happened before Tuesday morning. I was interested in this. See how this is resistance. It tried here, didn't break, and then eventually it broke on this part. Now it acted pretty much as, as support. Support here, broke a little under that support. Again, here, support, and it broke under. Didn't want to cross over. Again, didn't want to cross over. And again, it didn't want to cross over. See this line here, how, it's, how it becomes important? Very close to 36.79. Um, I believe I had set mine at 36.76, which is close enough, you know, three cents away. The idea is I set my alert. When the alert triggers, uh, it basically tells me to look at the chart. But the work is almost done beforehand, which is exactly what I'm doing here. It looks like... It used to be resistance, it became support, and now it's acting as resistance again. So either we turn around on this one and it gets the head and shoulder I was telling you about, or we keep going. So if we keep going because the energy sector is hot, uh, we could at least test this triple top that is in the 38 or a little over 38 region. So uh, let's get closer to what happened on, I'll show you on the five minute and while it was happening. So no, this is today. Let's go back to exactly what happened. Um, that's, that's the day, that's the morning. Basically what happened was uh, it gets triggered as we cross the line here. We know it's resistance, right? What it could do is Peep just a little over here, maybe try a little bit and then come down afterwards. That would have been resistance. It doesn't want to get through and it, turn, it gets turned around. Didn't happen that way. Look at it. Next candle up top. Oh, a lot of people thought that, oh, it could, it could start to break back down to under that support, but not. See this, this volume is increasing to make sure that everyone was still holding and basically it took off so back to the idea first you set your line to a very good support and resistance line that needs to be broken for more upside this was the line to break and the target was the triple top the target was the top that was easily accessible. It's not all time high. It's just a previous top that was tried twice. So we figured, okay, might as well try it for a third time. And then it broke through. It was in this area here and it broke through and the next day it was off to uh, the forties. But the idea was to gather a plan to organize a plan that was the breakout from here to a target that was there that would be good enough for for this movie and uh, we could pass on and move on to the next day now this is for this play let's move to the next one that we took this other one is cvs 
look at how similar this is. This one was mentioned on CNBC, I believe, earlier this week. Um, caught my attention, and I did exactly the same thing. Look at how the chart looked as pretty much just like uh, SLB that we just uh, we just looked at. You know, it came to a point resistance doesn't want to get through and then up it goes now it it becomes support goes high to this high down on support same line gets under oh it gets above it doesn't want to it acts as support and now moves up comes down use that support again here drops under back tested it to resist now becomes resistance off tests it again and then it drops right so you all see that this line is a line of interest and basically early on monday this is pretty much what i did and i'll, I'll move to a little closer to today and this is what it did yesterday at the end of the day on tuesday um look at what it did it did go again to test that line that we had. So basically this alert was set and whenever it triggers above it would be my buy button because this green line that you see is the 200 moving average. And now if we were to open above this line, we would go see how it hit it really on, on the money right there and if we were to get above it we would start to be because here we're under it's more bearish we get above it more bullish but the main thing to me is if we ever get above the 103.81 so let's move closer to today and today what happened was this basically it triggered pretty much right after the open this is the five minute chart 9.30 is right here, and this is where we alerted. Um, we were crossing it right here, and basically we just busted through right at the, um, very close to the gate. Why did we pick 104? Well, CVS is still, you know, considered something that I'm not, not that I'm not comfortable with, but we have... Uh, possibilities of going higher. My target was 105. Uh, I want to get closer, stay closer to the money because I didn't expect this thing to go to 110 at all. Uh, however, a move to 105 would have been just okay. We could have gone to 105, but if we had struggled to get to 105, I would have, we would have uh, ran sideways, lose on theta. The idea is to stick with a safer plan. So I decided to go with 104 on for uh, this strike and basically i'll show you the the target for this one and how we uh we were uh very close to that so again first you set up resistance resistance to break so it's basically support and resistance that you set beforehand and when it triggers it really alerts you and you look at the chart and you, you have done half the work already. You know that either it bounces on it uh, or, or it rejects it or it gets through it and it breaks out, right? So um, this was, you know, heavy volume right at the gate. Uh, we were moving to the upside. Like I said, it was mentioned on CNBC, I think, earlier this week. So it had the momentum to move to the upside while the market was going to the downside this one was moving to the upside so we had a strong sorry about this uh, a strong uh, mover the reason for target i'll show you right away uh we were saying i believe 105 six as a target so look back um to the one hour chart put this back to the one hour chart and whenever this candle is 104 and the next one over is the next support over is 105.3 very close to that see you just move the you move your line to the the other support 
see this line that how it moved to support here you know it's very close to 105 ish 1052 1053 105 Sorry for this brief interruption, but the idea was to show you where we took the 104, 103, 106, very, very close to it, um, target. And this is when we reached it, uh, we were very close to, to what we called. Uh, the idea was uh, not to be greedy because look at what happened when, when we reached that target line. Everyone was pretty much seeing the same thing as we did previous uh, the, the old support became now new resistance and just in a few candles, it scared people away and people took a lot of profit. Where to? Exactly our entry point where we, um, we had set the previous alert and we bounced back to where? To the target that we had. So both of the examples we showed in this, uh, in this video was the same thing. You prep your work ahead of time you know exactly what to expect. If we reject the line, well, you bail out, you decide not to get in, or you go puts if you intend to go puts on the, on the play, or if it breaks through, you're, you know exactly what to expect and where it's going to go. So it makes, it makes it a lot easier because I know it can be very overwhelming at one point, but the idea is to have a plan, strong plan, and this, setting up ahead makes your plan go a lot easier. So I hope you guys learned a few things um, today, today and uh, I'll see you back soon, folks. Thanks for watching.